Okay, welcome to Hades Omega's uh, front end build vlog. All right, so in the last uh, the last vlog we compared two forks, so now we're gonna go prep this fork to be installed into the bike. So the first thing we gotta do is I put this top clamp back on for comparison. Now we gotta remove it. Ah, this thing is always a pain in the ass to get. I always have to get a hammer. Okay, I got my buddy here. A little hammer. We're gonna tap this fork clamp out, upper crown. I don't know why it's so hard to get out. Hopefully my forks aren't twisted or anything. <laughs> okay. And it makes a big mess. All right, we got to remove this. All right, and then the next thing we got to do is we got to remove this bearing here. All right, whoop, and it was it came out quite easily. <laughs> it always does. Um, if you were working on a motorcycle, it definitely would not be that easy. A motorcycle fork. Okay, so there it is. So what I'll probably do is wipe off some of the excess grease outside, uh, some of the grease on the outside, and then I'll just repack it with new grease. Uh, this is like the second fork I've installed this on. It still seems like it's okay. Okay, the race is already still on the bike, so I'm gonna. I, I don't see any problems reusing it. I don't. Ha I'm not having any problems with the steering, so. I'm gonna go Okay, the last thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove the, uh, well, the last thing I'm going to do for tonight is I'm going to remove the bearing, all right, from here. Uh, it does look like there's some rust in there. The, the, it looks all kind of muddy and kind of dirty looking. So it looks like some water got in there. All right, not too much, but yeah, what I'll do is we'll wipe everything down and we'll put new grease. Okay, you can definitely tell which one is the front one and which one is the, uh, the back one because it's got this funky thing on it okay I'll try not to mix them up you definitely want to put them back the way you found them <laughs> so I'll say all right and then we'll wipe the races clean and I'll put some fre a fresh coat of grease on top like it just definitely looks like some water got in there but it's not too bad let me feel it yeah it's too smooth if you feel any like pitting or like kind of dense in there that that's bad <laughs> okay but that's still good it's still smooth okay so that's all I'm going to do for tonight. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll service these bearings. I'll service the bearings tomorrow before uh, before we start uh, prepping the fork. All right, here's me up. All right, here's Mega here. And uh, so I've been working on these bearings for the last, like, hour or so. Like I said, I was just going to wipe the grease off of them and then re-grease them. I think I'm going to buy a new headset. That's what I'm going to do, okay? So... The bottom one, I would reuse. The bottom one is in great shape. There's nothing wrong with the bottom one. All right. It, um, there was some kind of rust in, in the, like, starting to form. But, like, I guess the top one got hit pretty bad by water. Is what I'm going to say. But the race looks great. All right. There's, like, a teeny tiny bit of pitting you can see in Okay, so there's a teeny tiny bit of pitting you can see in there, but nothing bad. Okay, however, all right. So the top one is in pretty bad shape. I mean, it's it's. I mean, I, I could. I would still use it. It's pitting. All right, you can definitely tell. It's starting to pit. All right, it's got like a kind of like a patina on it. Yeah, I can feel it too. Well, if I run my fingernails on it, 
it's not smooth anymore <laughs> okay and there was like some rust stuff in there and I, that I wiped off all right this is all the stuff that I wiped off yeah I hate working with this stuff man all right but it looks like I'm just gonna buy a whole new headset kit because of this all right so if you look here carefully there's something wrong with this bearing okay so the cage here is like dented outward all right I don't know what happened how I did that maybe I damaged it uninstalling it or something I don't know um, this has been through like two installs so far but anyway yeah this is this is sticking out a whole lot here so that that's making that um, that roller bearing go inward all right it's a good thing it hasn't fallen out yet now I did realize mm, you know maybe I can get some pliers and bend that back but like I said the top brace is already pitted and everything this one had a whole bunch of rust on it but I wiped off the grease and it's okay so but yeah there's just that one one roller bearing that's all messed up and stuff and it feels kind of loose and stuff. I think the best thing to do would be to replace it. We're like already here, you know. I'm already here. I might as well do it. Also, I realized this is really easy to take off. Look at this. <laughs> the little cup thing. Yeah, it just slips right off. All right. So um, that would be easy to take out. And then you would have to press a new. Uh, you would basically have to just buy the whole kit and just reinstall it again. So that comes out real easy. And then this one, I'm not really sure how we can get this one out. This one is pretty well in there, but you can just probably just get like a screwdriver and or like a like a, a extension or something and just pop that out from the top. So I don't think that would be difficult to get out either. All right. So so yeah, I think I'm gonna go buy a new headset. So. There's no point in trying to, to lube this or anything. Now I would still run the bottom, the bottom bearing. The bottom bearing is still in great shape. That's what I'm gonna say, okay. Bottom bearing's in great shape, bottom race is still in great shape. So we could still use that in the future. So keep it, you never know. I may damage the bottom one, but the, the top one I wouldn't use anymore. Okay, this, is, this little seal thing is probably still good, all right. Um, but the race is all kind of pitted and stuff like I ran my fingernail over it and I could feel some pitting So it's only it's only a matter of time before the steering gets notchy and stuff. So I said Let's just buy a new headset. We're already here. You know, you're already at the point where you can easily change it So that just means we're gonna have more downtown <laughs> Unfortunately, so so okay, so the bearings I'm not gonna work on it anymore. That's it I'm, I'm just gonna replace the bearings and th that won't be hard where we're at right now it's best to do it right now while the fork's not in there, okay? And then so what we gotta do next for this guy, in the meantime is we gotta cut the steering head tube. So I'm gonna go get the other my other fork out, my other, the white RST fork that's been painted black, and we're gonna measure the stem height, and then we're gonna cut it to that height, all right? I said we were gonna go fit it and everything, but I'm like, nah, it's okay. The manual actually tells you to just measure the, the stem tube and then cut it. Okay, so that's, I guess that's what we're gonna do. That's the proper way to do it, so. Okay, um, yeah. So, so I guess I'm done with this for tonight. <laughs> My only goal of tonight was to, to clean up these bearings and then repack them with grease, but there's no point in packing. I cleaned everything up. So everything looks all nice and clean now. I got some alcohol and I wiped the dirt off of this head right here, but it looks like we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to replace the headset. All right, at least the top one, the very top one. The bottom one is still good, but if I got new bearings, we might as well thing it, you know. Or maybe we'll just replace the top. I'm not sure. Then we'll have a brand new we'll have a brand new bottom one, you know. But it looks like, yeah, I don't know what could have happened. It, what could have happened is, like, yeah, man, too many motocross jumps, Hades Omega. <laughs> You're riding the bike too hard. That's probably what happened. Or, or yeah, maybe we rode it too long and the headset got loose. I know, I think I've tightened it a couple times, all right. But for the most part, this headset has been very good to me, though. I'm, I'm really impressed with this over what the, the Suron MX first came with. So if you guys don't know, this is a Suron MX, and this did not have the... Uh, the beefier headset all right the tapered roller bearing this uh this bike came with like a regular bicycle headset and um and it was very loose when i first got it so um and i think if you ride it loose like that for a while it messes up the bearing and stuff so but anyway everything but this bearing 
and the race yeah is not good so i would say yeah at least at least replace the top you know so but i, I might as well just replace the whole thing we'll, we'll replace the whole thing and then we'll keep the bottom one the bottom one is still serviceable so we'll we'll keep that and we'll have extra we'll have spare parts and stuff all right now this this is the seal for the top this and this the top has so many seals on it the top has like the top has this to seal it this to seal it this to seal it that to seal it and that to seal it all right and the water still got in it okay <laughs> water still got in it and it kind of damaged the bearing a little bit um, would it be okay to put it back I, I think it would be okay but like yeah like I said it was only a matter of time before the steering would start to get notchy so I think the best thing to do would be to replace the bearings since I'm already there okay so that that's the plan um i'm gonna go order a new set of bearings from lunacycle maybe and then uh then we'll install it and then we'll, we'll finish installing the, the forks okay uh, i guess in the meantime what i could do is maybe install a new headlight the new headlight okay this one still works but we'll install a new one and we'll, and i'm planning to just install a plug on it so it'll be plug and play Okay, so I guess uh, I guess that's it for tonight. <laughs> All right, here's me up.